On this movie we shall see now the new interface of the Auto3P parts trade service. When I'm logged in into the system as a buyer, for example Demo Garage, in the parts trade service I will see the main directory where I can look for the various files that I worked with in the last 30 days in this example. I can also click on the recent button which is active button that shows me the 30 last files that I worked with. You can use also some predefined filters and reports like requests or orders like this. This can be defined by the filters over here. If I open it I can choose which of the filters I would like to work with. I can see the status of the file, active, cancel, etc. And I can see here the type of the status of each file. If it's a request, if it's an order. And I can define the report for my convenience. Let's look now for a new request that I'm going to ask from the suppliers for parts information. I click on the new button. The wizard will be open like this. I should put some reference number. The description will be pretty fine. I can change it if I want. It will be in this case multi-trade request. Registration code I can put a new data or if it's predefined also in the system, if it's a vehicle that we have in the database, we can choose it from the database what we have. Let's take the example of this vehicle and I will put it into my request. Also, the VIN number will come automatically if it's defined in the vehicle card. I can put the model image, if I have any. I can go to the cars directory where I have all my pictures and I can put the picture of the file, upload it into the server. I will choose now the suppliers from which I would like to receive the information. I can select from a list and I can define whichever I would like. I can decide to send parts requests with catalog numbers from the multicat catalog or without. And I have the remarks, of course. When I'm going next with the face, because the car, the vehicle card is already defined in the database, I am skipping the model definition and I'm going to the catalog directly. I can choose the parts of which way I would like to have the information and I can go next with the wizard to define it well by the catalog and I have now the request, the list of parts I would like to have the information. I click finish and if it's automatically giving me the answers from the suppliers I will get immediately the response. What I can see here this is what also the part supplier will see in his side. Here is the full details in the upper level of this screen. I have the code, the reference code, plate number, in this case it's the same. I have a VIN code also, which is very important for the supplier. I have the model and the description. If I have some remarks, it will be here. In the other, in the lower uh, part of the screen, I will see all the response from the market. I have the items, which are signed by the bold uh, uh, captions. And I have the response 
from the market. In this case I have two response, one from supplier A and one from supplier in the importer supplier. If I would like to put some more information I can also put a, an image also for the part, for a specific part. I can click on the my request on a specific item and I can edit or add some details into this. In this case I would like to put some image of the front bumper. And now I have also the image that the supplier can see. The indication for an image for each part, each item, it will be this icon over here which when I'm going with the mouse on it, it will show the part itself. Now I can wait for the response from all the suppliers and after a certain time, which can be defined and configured in the system, I can stop my uh, auction and I can get the full information that I would like to have. I can make some more operations with the menu we have over here. For example, I can look on the details of this request and I can change whatever I need to this request. For example, the status, if it's active or closed, put some remarks, put another image, etc. I can look at the photos of this file, of this request. In this case we have the main photo of the vehicle and some parts that we put inside. I can add a new part. Clicking on this button will just put the screen of adding a new description, a new part for the request. And I have the button of the order, which we will look after when we have all the information. I can print it, print the report also when I have all the information and I can go back to where, where I was before. After a while we can either check the situation in the directory of the parts trade or we can go to the mail or the outlook to see if there is any new notifications about a response from the market. For example this is a new price quote for um, my request, part request 3, from supplier of aftermarket. If I will click on it, I will see the details and I can go inside into the documents directly from the mail system. In this case, I will see that some parts quotes were added into the parts request, those of the aftermarket supplier. In this case, we have another option of the aftermarket, the hood also, and also some image of the parts that the supplier has, and some notifications if there are any comments. In this case, this part, which is not in the stock, will be remarked like this by a comment of the supplier. After I finished to have the complete information about my request, I can make my order. In this case, I will click on this button. Differently from the other interface, we can make an order by a basket. In this case, we have three offers, three options of complete offers, which one of them is remarked which one, one of the parts there is zero. I have this attention over here. I can choose also the other, uh, the other baskets which are completed and to see where, which will be the preferred basket for me. Or I can use some user selection which I am going to select myself all the parts from the parts quote that I have. In this case, let's take the completed price quote from this supplier, A, and we can go next to see the details of this request. So I have three parts with three 
um, price quotes and I can go and just order it directly from this interface. This will have all the details of the order. It's going to supplier A. I can put some order code and I can put some comments if I, if I want. And I can close the request for information or either I can leave it open if I want. I'm clicking finish. Now all the parts that were ordered will be signed like this in the status and the parts price request is closed by the status. I'm going back to the main directory and I can start a new request. After I made my order, I can follow up the process of the parts order delivery. If I'm clicking on the order reports by this filter, I can see that in this case I have a response from the supplier about this order. It means that the parts were delivered already and sent to the garage. As you can see, I can click on it and open to see all the situation of this order. In this case, I can see the three items that I ordered and the order log which the supplier sent to me by the system. This notification can be done also by the email. Now, after I got all the parts and the parts were arrived, I can add update the status and say that it was received. This message will go on this log to the supplier and he will see that the parts were received and the circle was closed. I'm going back to the main directory and I can manage all the other files that I have.